for over 39 minutes of that game. Wild shot by Quasi Yaboa. No gel Easter. He threaded the needle. And now he gets it inside and back down to Travion Williams. This is power on power right here. And number 50, that power standpoint. And there's that quick double team by Purdue on the post. Catches at the Hoosiers. It's been effective. That wasn't a brick, it was a boulder from Devontae Green. As we said, he's coming off a pretty decent performance. Three of eight from three in their last outing. Here's Trevion Williams working on the baseline. Look at that strong reversal. That's what Painter loves. A huge possession in this game. Boudreaux the rebound. Proctor wanted to get it to Williams and did. He's got to keep him away from his left shoulder. Too short. Second chance. Pride free. At the time they faced each other and then had the nerves of a high level rivalry game. And teams feeling each other out. And you can see trying to establish some rhythm, some flow. Maybe on Williams with that back down dribble, taking advantage of his size, but shoots a little quick, just too strong. Kispert wasn't even looking. That's a big. If you have the ability to advance the ball off the dribble, come to a quick stop until you know exactly what you're getting into offensively. Dylan. Jump hook. Broder back to the hoop. Nice move around Atkinson and lays it in. Great. Up state basketball player in New Jersey the best in a season athletes and played for Dean Smith at North Carolina can't top that here's half tough shot was able to get it around Goins philosophy they espouse too where you you know screen cut dive guards to the box that's how high to half who sat down his first year and practiced every day against Kaminsky on that 2015 Final Four team. Here he is moving inside and he able to put it up and in. Blair. And the rebound going to Villanova's Justin Moore. Champions pick and roll. Robert Tupin pops out, spins inside. Right hand. Off the mark. And, half. and ultimately has whittled it down to six. Indiana could come on the road to their rival, shoot up to 30% and win. It would be a steal. An absolute steal on the road to the Big Ten. Williams again. The difference makers for Indiana. He's got nine. Tennessee with seven, all of them in this half. Again, great work inside. Going to be at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Not very far from here, just down. I-65, a little bit down to Indianapolis. Nice pass. Oh, nice finish for Trey. More aggressive on the glass and when you're going offensively. What is this tired you speak of? <laughs> Were you ever tired as a player? Yeah, but I was, didn't play enough <laughs> to come up. Where's the offense come from for the Boilermakers? With the people on the floor, you'd have to think, Travion Williams, with the game he had back in January, you'd go right there. There it is. He has to get tough. Over and serving his traffic cop. He got the pass from Felice, said get out of there, and then on that strong double team, the new side of Felice, and he found the open area. All right, Evil went around the Garza screen. Greener thought about the three. Garza spin baseline against oh. Colbert. You can play behind Petrusha, not allow him to catch the ball, and easily turn and spin and finish. A smaller lineup on the floor right now, though, with Killian Tilly, the tallest player. Kispert's playing the four. Fotu came in for St. Mary's in place of Menzies, who goes to the locker room. Now Tilly posting up against Fitz, and he went to work right away. Missed the shot, tipped the miss, but it was grabbed. Points. 
Nice cut. Oh, get back. Two, action. Back to the rim. No easy baskets for Wisconsin. So you get those easy looks, you've got to convert inside or get to the foul line. Same play. Here's Hyman. There you go. Time he got going. Well, to steal it. That was you, Raph. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that dollar. Yeah, I was just saying, what is the buck? <laughs> Well, he does such a good job getting. Said they're doubling Luca. We knew they would do that. We can adjust a little bit off of that. Offensive rebound by Travion Williams, and so the second half starts much like the first ended, although Williams... The player rises and fucks. Good. Nice box out by Gillespie. Oh, wow. At the pass move. Bounce the pass face lock. Bounce the nerve. Bounce the pain. Turn around, jump in. over Arizona, and they vault into the field, according to Joe. That's because the net ranking absolutely loves Arizona. They get a lot of credit if they can win that game. Ryan Woolridge and the Zags up 52-46, St. Mary's. Trying to hang around this game, Killian Tilly. What a <laughs> And you think about the first meeting between these two teams this season back in late January the Wildcats beat the Bears 92 to 57 which was the largest margin of victory in this rivalry Cisco leans in and banks it home that is Illinois. Matone. 
and Mahoney on the inside, and there is no off switch in number his lesson from trying to pass the last time he got to that point Timmy. well Quincy the senior from Bridgeport Connecticut transfer from Sacred Heart he has he's got the goods it's there and Miles Powell knows that he feels the same way about Jared Roden and Miles Kale that's Bay over Kale put a little wrinkle into his game McKnight in Gillespie's back pocket remember Colin Gillespie has been playing with a thigh injury trying to work through it one of the toughest young men you'll ever meet. And McKnight, one of the toughest defenders you will be, too. They score a mid post jump shot good. I love that mid post up, too. George Mirasaw watching, and Patrick Ewing coaching. The big fella showing some skills with his feet in the paint. He has six. Robinson Earl, 16 foot. Still. By DeSumo, but a better job by Felice of being able to corral a pass that wasn't necessarily completely on target, not panicking and getting it up. Six point advantage for the Illini as Garza shoots over Coburn and Williams grabs it. Another touch for Williams, and why not the way he's been going tonight? The jumper not there and Ford rips down the rebound. That's a win for Wisconsin.